Hey everyone, it's Girl Emma here, and today's video is on this little like look kind of thing that I did. Um, I don't know, I don't know what to call it, but I did it. Woohoo! I, you know, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just, I don't know, I think it's really nice. I freaking adore this highlighter. It is the, it's one from, okay, Bella Pia, I think that is how you pronounce it. I've got no idea. I think it's like a French brand or something, but I got it at TK Maxx. And whoo, the highlight is a poppin', so, yeah. I'm probably gonna do an entire video on those because they're freaking beautiful. Anyway, I'm just gonna get right into it. I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to become part of the family because I love you. And other than that, um, if you've got any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to contact me in the comments down below or on any of my social medias. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hydrate my skin with just some moisturizer. This stuff has SPF in it too, so it's extra good for me. Um, I got this stuff at Body Care, I think, so it's like really cheap, but it still works. So I'm going to use it. And then I'm just going to massage that all in, get all that goodness into my skin to make it look really good and you know happy and to keep it happy and i'm just gonna keep massaging because i'm a cool kid um <laughs> and keep going so i i'm really gross by the way it's because it's really like late here and i'm doing a voiceover all right and then once i've just made sure that it's all nice and rubbed in i'm gonna pull the piece on and then i'm gonna use some of this nivea hydro care lip balm which i have been using now for years and years and years and years and years i love it it's so good and it does the job perfectly. I'm gonna pull a stupid face and put an oh yeah, I've already done my eyebrows off camera by the way, that's what I was saying. Um, and now I'm just gonna use some of this mini MAC strobe cream as a primer. This stuff is like so good, I adore it, especially with the foundation that I'm gonna use today. It just it's so nice and i'm gonna have to repurchase it once this stuff gets empty because it is so 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 good like oh my gosh it just uh it's like a pretty disco ball on your face and once i've massaged that in and rubbed all of that in i'm going to get my foundation which is the l'oreal lumen magic which i'm really upset because it's nearly run out and it's one of my favorite foundations and i'm just gonna take two pumps of that and then I'm going to poke it all over my face like a warrior, because I'm cool. And then just blend it out with this like fake mock artist brush, because I'm weird. Use this super duper duper cheap concealer from Technic, which is like a really cheap, cheap brand in England. But it's really good. I'm just going to like use that all over my highlighted areas, my concealing areas, like my under eyes and my nose and my forehead and all that kind of thing and then i'm going to blend out the highlighty-ish areas with my fingers just because i feel like it it just blends out the product really nicely if i do it like that on those certain areas and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to look really confused and try and find that brush that i was using before and then i'm going to use the, that brush that same brush that is for my foundation just to softly blend out my concealer And what I'm now going to do is I'm going to use this little kind of on-the-go kit from Bare Minerals. Was my, I, I don't know, I just, I love this stuff. And I'm going to take the finishing powder and I'm actually going to use that as a setting powder for under my eyes today. It works like a gem and I love it for this purpose. It's probably not for this purpose, but who cares, I'm going to use it as that. And I'm just using that, applying that with a Real Techniques setting brush because it's a bay and I adore that brush. Then what I'm going to do is, once I've done all that and the sun's like ruined me, I'm going to use the actual face powder in that kit and I'm just going to use it with a really big brush from Infusion, make my face slightly darker than it actually is because it's summer, and set the foundation and all those liquids on my face with it. Now going into what is heaven in a eyeshadow palette which is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. I adore this with my entire life. I'm going to use it. Like, it's kind of like a white shade. I've forgotten what the color is, and I do not have the color in front of me, and I cannot be able to get it, so it's just the white shade for now. Um, on, like, an angled contouring kind of eye brush looking thing. I don't know. That's a nice brush, so I used it. Um, and I'm just going to put that all over my eye in the crease, just to make sure that I haven't got, like, any loose concealer. Just 
going for a run around my eyeball. Then I'm going to use this colour. It's kind of like a taupey, chocolatey brown shade. It's matte. Um, and I'm going to put that into kind of like my socket area, socket crease area of my eye. Um, you know, it's going to help define it, help my eyes look a little bit bigger. And I don't know, just help the entire look come together at the end. So I'm going to like blend and blend and blend and blend and blend because it's a blending marathon. And then I'm going to go and use a slightly warmer, kind of, it's more of like an orangey-ish, it's like an orangey chocolate brown, it's quite warm. And I'm just going to use that over the top to intensify that further and I don't know, to add a little something something to my eyes. And I'm going to blend like crazy. Now I am looking confused again, and now I'm going in with this Chi Chi eyeliner in the shade Beauty School Dropout. I already know what it's called because I love it. And I'm just going to smudge that on my, like, on my, the bit where I would, you would usually put eyeliner, that's what I'll call it. And then I'll blend it out with a nice smudgy brush, just like so, just to try and smudge it out a little bit and make it, like, not harsh because it wasn't very neat in the first place, let's be honest. And now I'm going with this Essence Curls Just Wanna Have Fun palette. And I'm going to use the silvery purple in there just to really help smudge the eyeshadow out, the eyeliner out a little bit further. Dipping back into this deep purple from that Too Faced Sweet, Sweet Peach palette just to further intensify the outer, you know, area. And then blending it all out again and pulling a stupid face because. I'm a complete map, but then I'm going to go in with this Makeup Revolution Golden Sugar Blusher Palette, which to me looks more like a highlighter palette because the shades in there are definitely more highlighty. But anyway, I'm going to use this lighty champagne shade and I'm just going to pop that all over the lid. Um, it's not too bright in your face, but at the same time, it's enough to give my eyes a bit of a glow and to make me look nice and wide awake. Now I'm going into the bronzer from which is called the Skinny Dip Bronzer from Bare Minerals. And I'm just going to use that in an angle blush brush to just add some shape to my face a little bit. Um, it's kind of warm, but I mean, it still does the job. And the brush is from Nude by Nature, which is a makeup brand, which I've been using since I was like 12. Lol. For the lols. And then I'm just going to keep on like going with that and building it up slowly and gradually until I get what I want. Before we go any further, I have put mascara on and used Essence Lash Princess, forgot to say. I'm now going back into that um, Makeup Revolution Golden Sugar Palette and I'm just going to use those two shades that I'm going to point to in a minute. One's kind of like a muted lemonade pink and then the other's definitely more of like a golden highlighty kind of a shade and then I'm just going to pop that on my cheeks for like, you know, a golden lemonade pinky, I don't know. I don't know what I was going for, but I liked it, and it worked, and it gave a nice sheen, and it's pretty, okay? So, yeah, I'm sounding very nasal, sorry. I've got a cold still. And then I'm just going to blend it all out, like that, and use my fingers, because I'm a cool kid. And then again, oh, looking confused. Oh, no, I'm going to add some highlighter. This is, I can't remember what this one's called, but it is from Bare Minerals. I know that, and I'm going to use this with my Bella Pia highlighting brush I want to say because I'm pretty sure that's what I use um again I'm looking around like a muppet because I lost it for like two seconds but yep now I'm just going to use that and apply it to my face because that's what you're supposed to do and try and smile and look kind of cute whilst I'm applying it um even though I probably look really awkward and then I'm like I'm like trying to see the glow and it's just yeah the highlight is nice but it's kind of subtle like it's not boom in your face like Jeffree Star would like but, um, yeah. Now I'm going to use this stuff. This is called Toasty from Bella Pia, and I am in love with it. It is quite literally, like, pale gold champagne heaven dust stuff. It is gold. It gives the most beautiful highlight, as you guys can see. Just look at that highlight, though. Like, uh, highlight for days. And then I'm trying to, like, focus my camera. Now I'm just going to go in with this lipstick here, it's a liquid lipstick from NYX, it's one of the NYX liquid lingerie lipsticks, I've got what the shade is, but I love it and I'm going to have to go get more because I really like it. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to pop that all over my lips to finish the look. And then, yeah, 
am just being a weirdo and posing, but yeah, thanks for watching the video and I hope you liked it. See you later, alligator.